I bet you almost forgot about Jacob Matthew Morgan. He was a 17-year-old boy who was diagnosed with autism. He lived in a trailer park with his mother, stepfather, and half 14-month-old brother. His brother was named Joshua. Jacob's mother and stepfather left Joshua in his care, and during that time, their trailer caught on fire. Jacob claimed he was asleep at the time of the fire, and he awoke to the house in flames. But when Jacob ran inside, his 14-month-old brother Joshua was left in the master bedroom where the fire began. Jacob's parents claimed that neighbors told him he wasn't allowed to go anywhere near the house once it had went up in flames. But during interview, Jacob said several different things. He told the police officers that he loved playing with fire, that he had a fascination with it. And two weeks prior to this incident, he had lit a fire in his bedroom. When questioned about how the fire started, he also said several different things. First, he said he threw a pillow near a heater and it caught on fire. Then he said he lit the pillow on fire himself and threw it in the air. But arson experts looked over the evidence and they revealed that there had been two different fires started in the home, one in the living room and another on a blanket in the master bedroom where Joshua was sleeping. Investigators also said that Jacob admitted he never actually was asleep when this happened, nor did he ever go back to sleep after the fire started and they came to the conclusion that he was playing with tea candles and that's how this fire started. But Jacob's parents argued that he was manipulated into giving these answers. Not only being diagnosed with autism, he had learning disabilities as well. He struggled to read and write. His parents refused to believe that he was this cold-blooded killer that police were making him out to be. In court, Jacob said he loved his brother. He always wanted a brother said that Joshua was his best friend. He sobbed through every single one of his court dates. When it would come up that his brother had passed, Jacob would collapse on the floor of the courtroom in tears. He was originally charged with murder, but they said if he pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter, they would drop the charges. So it's kind of like he had no choice here. He used the Alford plea, where it says he accepts the punishment for the offense, but does not admit responsibility for it. Jacob's stepfather and Joshua's biological father stepped forward and said about Jacob, he is not a cold-blooded killer. This kid called his mom at work because one of the newborn kittens was sick and he was afraid it was going to die. I'm not gonna have any sheriff or any investigator tell me to my face that he is a cold-blooded killer when he cries at Disney movies. Jacob's lawyer says he's a very gentle soul and he will surely struggle with his sentencing and this was one of the hardest cases he has ever dealt with. But in February of 2016, he was found guilty and put in prison for 15 years. What do you think about this? Do you think Jacob is this cold-blooded killer or a young boy with a disability who was manipulated into a confession?